Okay, here's how to make your own microphone dead cat for four dollars versus spending sixty dollars on a really poorly made one. Go to your local uh, fabric store, buy some of this stuff. Looks like a dead cat. Even sheds like one once you cut it. Although once you cut it, we do just pluck the extraneous fur off. You see I've got one mounted here. Um, you can buy this stuff by a quarter yard, it's like $14.50 for a yard, but if you buy a quarter yard for five or six bucks, that's enough to make at least, at least ten dead cats. I made one here, I'm going to make one for a boom mic. I got enough for eight more dead cats, all for six bucks. Four or five bucks on the fabric, buy a spool of $1.50, really strong nylon thread, obviously a needle, so all you need is this stuff, quarter, quarter, a quarter yard, you'll find it back in the, uh, the shag corner of your local fabric store, <laughs> or no women buy this stuff to create anything, might be used in a gorilla costume. You can see the backing here, what you do to create it. Now the front of this microphone on the Canon XHA1 looks just like this battery. So I'm going to use this as an illustration. You just wrap it inversely, inside out. Do is just mark it, like you make your Sharpie marker here, you feel over here, not where it's too tight, not real tight. Well you just mark it right here. The other side, again not tight, just mark it with your Sharpie marker. Cut it. And when you go to sew it, once you've cut it, poke the fur inside yeah make a nice joke sew it up it'll take you five minutes per side even if you got no sewing skills at all same thing with the other side poke it in sew it loop it I passed through it twice tie a knot off on the end no big deal once you get it sewn eh, you flip it inside out obviously this isn't sewn but yours would be sewn you'll have a really nice tight fit. Now how do you keep it on there? What I use is a uh, copper spool for making uh, for uh, making uh, uh, making coil windings. It's like a 10 gauge or not a 10 gauge but a 14 or 18 gauge copper wire. You can't see it here exactly but it's right in here. What I did is I just took a piece of that thin copper wire twisted it about five times, cut it and lay, lay the excess along here so if I ever need to take it off which I never will all I have to do is just raise that up untwist it like a twist tie so this is perfect it records beautifully it protects your microphone it's great obviously as it's designed for for, uh, for blocking out your wind noises there's no reason to take it off it protects your microphone it protects it against humidity um, Obviously, it's for what it's designed for, for as a, a dead cat wind muff. So you can make it in 20 minutes and five dollars, and have enough fabric left over to make 10 more dead cats, much larger than this one, no less, like a large boom mic, like a Rode or a Sennheiser. The ones that you pay sixty dollars each for are made like trash. They're stitched like trash. They fit loosely. They're just trash. Spend five dollars and ten minutes per dead cat, even if you've got no sewing skills at all. So you don't need a sewing machine, just get a a one dollar and fifty cent spool of nylon thread and this stuff, a quarter yard of it for would be five or six dollars. Cut it up just like I showed you. You sew it up inside out, as I was showing you, once you've cut it to the right dimensions. Same thing on the other side. I make a double pass. And you flip it inside out. You fit it on your mic. And you don't have to, but I used a piece of copper thread, wound it around, twisted it moderately tight. It doesn't have to be super tight, obviously. Just enough to keep it from falling off. And bent the excess over. There you go. You got one for far, far cheaper. Enough to make ten of them. And uh, far better made, I can assure you. Anyway. Thanks for watching.